universities are. First of all, the origin of the universe itself. And second of all, the origin of intelligence. Believe it or not, sitting on our shoulders is the most complex object that Mother Nature has created in the known universe. You have to go at least 24 trillion miles to the nearest star to find a planet that may have life and may have intelligence. And yet our brain only consumes about 20, 30 watts of power. And yet it performs calculations better than any large supercomputer. So it's a mystery. How is the brain wired up? And if we can figure that out, what can we do with it to enhance our mental capabilities? When you look at the brain and all the parts of the brain, they don't seem to make any sense at all. The visual part of the brain is way in the back, for example. Why is the brain constructed the way it is? Is this nothing but an accident of evolution? Well, one way to look at it is through evolution. That is, the back of the brain is the so-called reptilian brain, the most ancient, primitive part of the brain that governs balance, territoriality, mating. And so the very back of the brain is also the kind of brain that you find in reptiles. Now, when I was a child, I would go to the science museum and look at the snakes sometimes, and they would stare back at me. And I would wonder, what are they thinking about? Well, I think now I know. What they're thinking about was, is this person lunch? Then we have the center solve for my customers? Two, who is my typical target customer? Three, how will I communicate with my target customer? Four, what products and or services will I provide? Are there any products or services my customers may expect me to provide that I don't plan to provide? Five, where will my business be located? Six, where will I buy the products I need? Seven, what hours will I operate? Eight, who will work for me and how will they be paid? Nine, who will handle critical tasks like selling, ordering, bookkeeping, marketing and shipping? Ten, how will I advertise and promote my Business? 11. What are the competition's strengths and weaknesses? 12. How am I different from the comp? Titian, as seen through the eyes of my customers? Make sure that you answer this question from a customer's perspective and not from an owner's point of view. part of the brain going forward, and that's the so-called monkey brain, the mammalian brain, the brain of emotions, the brain of social hierarchies. And then finally, the front of the brain is the human brain, especially the prefrontal cortex. This is where rational thinking is. And when you ask yourself the question, where am I anyway? The answer is, right behind your forehead, that's where you really are. Well, I have a theory of consciousness which tries to wrap it all up together. There have been about 20,000 or so papers written about consciousness and no consensus. Never in the history of science have so many people devoted so much time to produce so little.